Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun fall card for you. It features a bundle called Warm Welcome. And right now, October 2022, you can't find this in any catalog. It's actually online only. It's an early release from the spring 2023 catalog. I love this stamp set. I'm featuring it on my blog. So click the link here on YouTube and go back to my blog for even more ideas. Um, I'm pulling in some other things too. The Hello Harvest stamp set. You're such a blessing. And then the basket dies. Uh, I'm using an apple to uh, make a pumpkin. It's all I had. And I thought, you know what? We'll make it a pumpkin. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is our stamping and coloring. We're gonna use the Stamparatus to stamp all three of these at the same time. I can use my magnets that'll hold my paper in place. Let's make sure I've got it all in the right spot. Move that magnet over a little bit there. That one seems to be kind of in the way too. There we go, do we have the end? Let's see, let's get it down just a bit. Okay. All right, we are going to ink this up with Memento Black Ink. We are coloring with Stamp and Blends, so we need to use Memento because the blends are alcohol ink and our Memento is not alcohol ink, so they go together well. All right, so I've got the little arms with a coffee cup. There are lots of options in this stamp set to create little scenes in your, um, your, your door. Lots of things like a like a baby card or a new homeowner card. I just all kinds of really fun options. I'm using so saffron and crumb cake. Let's see where else. I'm gonna do the stripes on this present. Crumb cake. Oops, I don't have my glasses. So <laughs> can I see well enough to get this? colored in. There we go. It's not hard. I just, my eyes don't work very well anymore. All right. And then I'll do this uh, sleeve over here like that. Now let's see, how about we bring in light pumpkin pie for the cup and that little tag. I'm also going to color the top gift. Now I'm not going to color that bottom gift because we're actually gonna cover that up. You won't be able to see it. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. Okay, for our door, I'm gonna take uh, So Saffron uh, Light and I'm gonna start by coloring in the squares with Light So Saffron. This is gonna give our door some dimension. Ooh, that's a squeaky marker, isn't it? All right, now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna add some dark up there on the side and over like that. All right, and then I think I'm gonna switch over to that brush end and we're gonna flick all that color in towards the middle to give us some variation. All right, let's do that again. I usually like to use that bullet tip end, except when I'm coloring big spaces like this, the brush end seems to, to do a much better job. And it's not squeaky. I don't know, sometimes my markers are squeaky. Some are squeakier than others. Let's see, should we try the brush end on this darker one? Well, I'm out of the lines again. All right, blend it all in like that. And then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna run it. Let's see if I can, how I can, how well I can stay on the lines. There we go. Like that. All right, I think, oh, we need to color the hand. Just, I am just gonna use petal pink for those hands. All right, let's cut it out. All right, I've got my cut and emboss machine. I think we can get all three of these things cut out at the same time. We'll do this one like that. And we will do the present. And the hands. All 
right, let's put together our little pumpkins. I've got all these little pieces already cut out. I cut the apples or pumpkins out of pumpkin pie and I've cut a bunch of soft suede leaves. I also cut out the stem from both soft suede and from a mossy meadow. All right, we're gonna use our putty end of our take your pick tool. Actually, we wanna start with the soft suede ones. I'm gonna set it down right there into that glue. I like that, it's like doing surgery, these tiny little pieces. All right, then I'm gonna take the uh, same, the stem that I, that I have there, I also cut it out from the mossy meadow. So I'm gonna just cut off the leaves and glue them onto those leaves. Your take your pick tool will be very helpful with this. Okay, now let's do this one. Oh, I gotta put the glue there too, don't I? Just a tiny, tiny dot. I didn't even squeeze it. There we go. Okay, so there are our pumpkins. Now, let's start putting our card together. All right, so there is a die in the set that will cut out um, the inside of the door. That's this die right here. So I've already done that. And I used um, our Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. And we're gonna put that right in there. All right. Now I have a basic white card base and another piece of that Gingham Cottage. Cottage Gingham, Gingham Cottage designer series paper. Um, I have a full supply list on my blog, P free PDF that you can use. So make sure you hop over there and grab it. All right, now I have a piece of craft that I have embossed with a timber embossing folder. And if you're wanting the measurements for these, it'll all be on that free PDF as well. All right, now I have another piece of craft that I'm just gonna slide in here and I'm gonna do it over to the left side like that. All right, now let's do our door. And we are gonna use dimensionals on the back of our door. All right, there we go, we've got our door. And we'll take our little hands, and for these you're gonna need many dimensionals. I like these little sets that have all the little accessory stamps. It feels like playing with a dollhouse, which I loved when I was a kid. All right, now let's switch back to our larger dimensionals. I'm actually using the very remnants of my dimensional sheet. And we're gonna put that there. We're gonna set this just right here. Let's see, I think this needs to go a little bit higher, like that. And we'll put this right there. All right, now I have also cut out this little plaque. This is part of the warm welcome dies and it is perfect for your sentiments that are included in the stamp set. But my, I pulled, I wanted a fall like stamps uh, sentiment. So I am using pumpkin pie. And again, that sentiment from Hello Harvest. And I am gonna glue this flat right across here like this. All right, all right, now for our pumpkins. Hopefully they are dry. I'm gonna take, let's see, do I wanna use dimensionals? I think maybe I do. And I'm gonna make it tall. I'm gonna put two dimensionals on there and we're gonna put that right there, okay? And then the other one, I think we'll do the same thing. We're gonna make it tall and we'll put two layers of dimensionals on there. And we'll put that one up here, right there. It's like it's sitting on the sign. All right, now let's tuck in some of those leaves, those soft suede leaves that we cut. Oh, that's a lot of glue. 
I don't know where my seal, my stamp and seal ran away to. Otherwise I'd be using that because liquid glue and I, we don't get along so well. I do love how it adheres, but I make a mess. I don't know about you guys. All right, a few more little leaves. You know what, let's make this easy and use our take your pick tool. All right, there we go. Now, we've got to add two accessories. The first thing we need is the doorknob. And I love these brushed metallic um, adhesive backed dots. Perfect for a doorbell, I mean a doorknob. And the last thing we're gonna do is add a linen thread bow around the fold. Just like that. And there you have a fun fall themed card using the little sneak peek warm welcome bundle. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out the other projects and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.